we said that March uh, was going to show us a lot, um, and certainly March has been a very bumper month for us. Uh, we've been extremely busy. If I look through our auction magazine, uh, which came out for March, uh, we've had a lot of sales, and uh, I think that um, we have got a real good trend on what's happening this year. 2011 did start with great expectation. Um, the year has been tough. I think it's been tough for the property market. I think uh, um, the Libyan crisis is going on in Libya, even the tsunami in Japan. It's definitely weighing on people's sentiment, and I've always said property sentiment. Um, and so it's been tough. Now, that being said, from, a, from an, uh, an auction point of view and an auction alliance point of view, that doesn't mean that uh, uh, we close the doors um, and that business is extremely quiet. In fact, we've had a bumper month. Uh, and we've really had some great, great sales across the country, um, and, and we've seen some really good trends. Now, in my last uh, vlog, which I put out, one of the criticisms came that I wasn't giving enough facts, and that I wasn't um, actually saying exactly what's going on in the market in terms of pricing. So looking at the different markets and the diff different sectors of the market, um, yeah, I mean, the, the industrial market is quite interesting, and people often ask me what I think of industrial property. Um, we've actually found that uh, the market of an industrial that's particularly strong is in fact um, not really for the investor market but more for the end user, uh, the own occupier. And uh, the buildings that we've been selling actually have largely been for own occupiers. I mean, one of the buildings we sold was in Anderbolt uh, up in Gauteng and we, we got ourselves a really good price there in Anderbolt. We, we sold it around about 2,800 Rand a square meter. Um, which was uh, a particularly good price uh, at 12.87 million Rand in Anderbolt. Uh, Jacobs in Durban, always quite a strong market, quite low value, around about 2.8 million Rand. Uh, and then we sold a building near Cookstadt, which is uh, out, uh, out in KZN, um, and sort of out of the urban Durban area at 3.2 million Rand. Uh, and then quite a big site in Durban, uh, near the old airport in Durban, also at 9.2 million. So the, the fact is that in, uh, in KZN, which is quite a large industrial center, we've actually had some, we have had a couple of big industrial sales this month, which is really good, uh, and we we're particularly happy about it. And in more the traditional older industrial areas, which does show that there is strong demand. You know, that being said, there's not the greatest and most enormous values, but certainly there's activity in the, indust in the industrial sector. Um, and uh, again in Johannesburg uh, for the own occupier market. Uh, the, the market that was particularly strong this month, in fact it was our biggest sector, uh, were blocks of flats. Um, and uh, blocks of flats seem to be having high demand. I think that the people are realizing that in, in, in a tough market, residential uh, is, is a particular market which uh, attracts interest. Um, and uh, you know, I always say you never land up with an empty building in this country because there's a huge demand for housing. Uh, people are uh, demanding housing all the time. In a country which is under housed, you will we, we, we're not like Spain where you see vacant land or uh, vacant buildings. Uh, we certainly have like Ireland uh, where you have towns which are just standing empty. We're not like Florida uh, in the United States. We have demand for residential property and we're finding more and more that investors are buying residential property because they can put tenants in very quickly, very easily, and they're getting good yields. Now, this has been a discussion for a very long time about uh, you know, is residential an investment. And I believe that right now in this market, if you buy residential at the right price, your yields in many ways are even larger than in fact on the commercial properties because you let them easily, because you have almost zero vacancies, and most importantly we're finding in the residential market that uh, at people buying at soft prices are showing returns and so blocks of flats actually embody um, a really good way to buy residential because you're buying uh, in, in essence you're buying 10 or 20 residential units all put together so the, the, so the residential blocks uh, here in Cape Town uh, my colleague Andrew Cohen he sold the most blocks of flats in Mowbray in Cape Town he sold in Greenpoint and in Weinberg and really seems to be uh, attracting big buyers in that market then uh, in Pretoria we sold quite a big uh, development right in the center of Pretoria, Pretoria Hof Hotel, it's known as, but in fact it's a 113 room uh, apartment block that, that went for a price at 14 million rand gross. Um, there were further two blocks of flats which were sold in Hillbrow. Now, again, people always question Hillbrow. Hillbrow still demand, big demand on our auction floor. We had a lot, lot of activity for Hillbrow, for Barnfontein, uh, for the set city centre areas. And, and in Hillbrow, we sold uh, two blocks at 22 million rand. We sold another block of flats in Barnfontein at 6.1 million rand. Um, uh, my, my colleague Garrett Puerta seems to be dominating the sector in the Jopic city centre. And then in Coltonville, of, of, uh, we sold a building at 5.5 million rand. 
Uh, again, same story in Durban, uh, blocks of flats. Uh, the Ark Royal building right downtown Durban, CBD, five and a half million rand. Uh, Point Road in Durban, uh, always been a, traditionally considered a tricky area, 12 million rand. And all these buildings get let out um, and, and strong demand. And then uh, my colleague down in Port Elizabeth, Mike Bosch, he sold a couple of little buildings in Port Elizabeth as well. So yeah, we found it quite good. Uh, retail centres, well this was going to be the month of retail centres. Um, and um, our shopping centre market is definitely, we noticed a change. Um, we, we are seeing certain investors in the retail centre are factoring an interest rate increase, although uh, yesterday Jill Marcus said that uh, there's going to be no interest rate increase in the, mon the Monetary Policy Committee met, there's going to be no interest rate increases. We found that some of the investors in retail are already factoring an interest rate increase into their bidding prices. Now are they correct? I don't think so, but certainly they're doing it. And so uh, whilst we brought quite a lot of retail centres onto the floor, um, we, they, they weren't enormous sellers this month um, and I think you know I'm, I'm a big punter of retail I think retail is great I think the retailers are doing well if retailers are anchored by your national groups um, uh, there's probably no finer investment good governance great areas but that being said I think we've noticed people a little bit jittery about retail and um, we, the, the one building we sold which we were very happy about was in Elberton we called the Randolph Center 29.1 million just short of 30 million rand that was sold and confirmed this week in Cape Town there were a lot, it was a little bit, bit more bitty uh, we sold some sexual title retail in, in Seapoint on the main road. Property is quite tightly held. You know, it's, I've always referred to that as the sort of trophy type of market people want to own in those areas. So, and we sold uh, another little retail sexual title unit in Somerset West, which was sold by Ryan Joffe. Um, and then uh, in Johannesburg and Selby, we sold some retail and offices. Developments, yeah, I mean, uh, developments always come to auction because uh, because they, a lot of them are in huge distress. Uh, and the big one for the month was uh, in a place called Hartenbos, which is down in the Southern Cape. Uh, that was uh, sold um, at 35 million rand. Um, and uh, yeah, we, we in fact uh, uh, had quite nice demand for that uh, particular development. And then in East London, now that was the surprise of the of the month. Um, we had a vacant piece of land in an area called Amalinda. Um, and uh, you know, one thing's vacant land, East London, it's not going to do well, but uh, surprisingly not. We had a, a huge activity on that. Uh, we had five bidders aggressively chasing each other, uh, and we sold it for um, 3.6 million rand. So there is some activity and some appetite uh, for uh, that vacant development land um, in, those sect in those areas. Um, so the agricultural market is a sector which we're focusing on and uh, this in fact was a great agricultural month. Um, my colleague Peter Heldner I sold the Emma Weenie farm which is in an area called Falvart, a beautiful farm and we sold that for um, just short of 30 million, we went for 29 million rand. And we sold yesterday a farm in, uh, in the Free State, in Falloon's current at 9.5 million rand. And then earlier this week we sold the Hululula Lodge in Hazyview at another 8.5 million rand. Um, and by the way, all these prices I'm mentioning, these are sold and confirmed transactions. Um, these are not uh, just prices that we've achieved. Every single one of the sales I mentioned are sold and confirmed transactions. And when we say sold, we mean it's sold. And then of lastly, the residential market. And um, you know, we've certainly got a view at Auction Alliance that the residential market is, uh, is uh, seeing some deflation still this year. Um, the residential market is still particularly quiet. Um, we saw an uptick in 2010. 10, but 2011 is showing that residential is not as strong um, and certainly the recovery is some way away and of course that's presenting buy opportunity. Um, we sold a fantastic home in Bantry Bay for 18 million rand um, which is a great example the property was on the market at 30 and we sold it and confirmed it at 18 million rand. Then in the VNA waterfront always a popular area a flat went uh, sold and confirmed um, by Ishmael Hendricks at 6.5 million rand. There were some vacant stands in Fresne, also sold and confirmed at 3.8 million rand. In, in KZN there was a flat in Schloti, good price, 2.2 million rand. And then Eagle Canyon, which sold a house at 7 million rand. All in all, uh, a very active month, a good month uh, for Auction Alliance, but it's showing us trends. It's showing us what's happening in the beleaguered residential market. It's showing us that blocks of flats are good. It's showing us that retail is somewhat cooled off. And it's certainly showing us that the agricultural sector is one of the bright spots in the economy.